Welcome to this short video session. I'm going to introduce you to the Da Vinci Trading Sessions, which is all about mastering the art and science of trading. This first session is about thinking and trading. Why is this important? Well, we all think about the trading decisions we're making. To think is human. Thinking is optimized when it is purpose-driven. And what we mean by this is it aims to answer a specific question. And there are two types of thinking. There's what we call critical thinking and creative thinking. Critical thinking is the science of trading. Creative thinking is the art of trading. Critical thinking generally is used to answer questions about specific trades themselves, about systems that you have in place. So we answer questions about entry, and of course, once we're in a trade, exit, and of course, for evaluation purposes. So how well did that trade go, or a series of trades? These tend to be tested and non-discretionary and a reference in a plan. We use the critical component when we're evaluating how successful that plan has been in generating the particular result that we want. So critical thinking tends to be logical in nature. Creative thinking tends to try and answer questions in a more complex trading situation, often in the market as a whole. So two examples of this may be, first of all, when we're choosing which strategy fits a particular set of market circumstances. As option traders, we have a number of strategies we can use to match specific market circumstances. And those who do well in their options trading tend to do this particular skill exceptionally well. In Forex, we may use it to choose a particular time frame that we're trading. Additionally, we may also use creative thinking when we're faced with new or unfamiliar circumstances. So generally speaking, creative thinking is discretionary. There's a discretionary component to it. I, we need to make choices for which we haven't got objective answers initially. Of course, once we've got more experiences, then we can start to create an objective plan which we then follow and then we can critically evaluate subsequently. So we need both in place to make sure that we're the rounded, successful trader that you can be. So when we're making inferences and judgments about our trading or conclusions, what we're trying to do is give meaning to all of the market information that comes our way. And what happens is, once we've got all this and we synthesize it, then we can use that to form the basis of actions that we actually take in the market. So if we're looking at the attributes of skilled trading thinkers, we're basing these conclusions logically on the trading data that we received and processed. And we have absolutely crystal clarity about the inferences or conclusions that we're making. So there's no ambiguity there at all. We need to make sure we've gathered enough information to make these inferences or conclusions sufficiently deep. Quite often, what we do is we see something get very excited and trade it without full due diligence on a particular trade that we've, that we've entered. And of course, we're prepared to change those conclusions if the information out there has changed also. One of the things that we often see in a coaching context is clients with a specific bullish or bearishness towards the market as a whole. And they don't change this, despite the new information that may be out there. So as a checklist, here's three things, three questions you can ask yourself. First of all, am I clear about the inferences that you're making, not only in terms of entering this trade, but also intra-trade management and what happens in the all-important exit phase? Secondly, have I got enough information about drawing these conclusions that I've drawn about this particular trade? And thirdly, do I let other information that is not relevant to it or perhaps we've had three or four trades which have gone against us and end up talking ourselves out of a trade. So we're unreasonably altering the inferences that we make because of other stuff in the way. And that's it for today. If you're interested in learning more about trading and thinking, drop me a line at mike at hawkeyeoptions.com and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.